this presentation, I'm going to talk about the different types of books that we have in the library, mm -hmm. but I'll focus more on reference books and the shelf numbers. Just keep in mind that um, reference books, you cannot take them out, you use them inside the library, but you can also use books that are available online. On this slide, I'm going to talk about dictionaries and explain them. What is a dictionary? A dictionary is a reference book that lists words of a language or languages and is also a reference book on a specific subject. We have different types of dictionaries. Uh, we have general language dictionary that provides spelling, meaning and usage of words in specific language. We have bilingual or multilingual dictionaries uh, that provides equivalent words of one language in another language. We also have a subject dictionary. Uh, this is the most important uh, reference source because it helps you to build your knowledge in a specific subject. And a subject dictionary provides words, terms, or phrases on a specific subject field. And it defines or explains the words. On this slide, I'm going to explain encyclopedia. Encyclopedia provides basic information on your topic. It provides concise factual overview on a vast number of subjects or extensive information on limited subject fields. We have two types of encyclopedia. We have general encyclopedia and subject encyclopedia. General encyclopedia, it provides information on all aspects of knowledge and it gives more information than a dictionary. A subject encyclopedia to help you to build or develop knowledge on the particular subject that you are doing because it gives extensive information on a particular subject field. On this slide, I'm going to talk about handbooks. Um, a handbook is also one of the most important reference books to build knowledge on your subject or discipline that you are doing, especially if um, it's the first time doing the subject, like for instance, your psychology, industrial psychology, which you didn't do at uh, high school. So you will need um, knowledge and terms that are being used in that particular subject. So a handbook provides information on a specific subject um, the information provided is constant, not subject to regular changes, and the information does not become quickly outdated. On this slide, I'm going to talk about yearbooks. Um, a yearbook records activities of a particular year, and the information provided relates to a specific subject or cover many subjects. Uh, the scope of a yearbook can be national or international, and then it is published annually, um, providing most recent information about the country, the personalities, or subject. On this slide, I'm going to talk about geographical sources. Geographical sources provide information about Earth, its countries, places, and it is a uh, in a pictorial graphic or written format. Uh, we have different types of geographical sources like maps, atlases, and travel guides. On this slide, I'm going to talk about statistical source and biographical source. Statistical source provides information in a form of numerical facts. A biographical source, it provides written description of the events in a person's life. And we have uh, individual biography and collected biography. On this slide, I'm going to talk about directories. Um, as we know, uh, the yellow pages, the telephone directory, that systematically list uh, persons and organizations or services. On this slide, I'm going to talk about government publication. A government publication reports on the activities of a government and it is published by authority of the government at the expense of the government body. 
on this page, I'm going to show you how to use a book. It is important to understand that because when you are writing your assignments, you must um, have a reference or a bibliography of the sources uh, books that you have used. So when you open the book, the first uh, uh, page, it is the title page, where you'll find the author, the edition, the publisher, and the place of publication. And then the vessel of the title page, that's where you'll get the um, copyright date. And then you have your table of contents. And then at the back, just at the back, you'll find um, the index. It can be the author index or the subject index. On this page, I'm going to talk about the table of contents and index and where to find them in the book. The table of contents, you'll find it at the beginning of the book and the index at the end of the book. The table of contents provide little information, whereas index provide detailed information. The table of contents provide the information in a numerical order, whereas an index it lists the information in alphabetical order. The table of contents provide headings, and page numbers, and index provide specific words and page numbers. The table of contents provide chapter numbers only and index provide list of names and subjects. On this slide, I'm going to talk about the shelf numbers. Each and every subject in the library is given a classification number to assist you to locate the books you are looking for in the library. Books on similar subjects have the same classification or shelf number. A shelf number is found on the spine of a library book or journal. It includes one or more decimal points. It assists you to find the books on the shelves in the library. It consists of numbers and letters arranged numerically and alphabetically, e.g. 153.4. The letters at the end of the number are an abbreviation of the author's surname or organization which has produced the book. In some instances, it can be the first three letters of the title of the book when the book is edited or written by more than three authors. The books on the shelves are placed in a numerical sequence. Use the library catalog as attached to search for the book in the library. On this slide, I'm going to continue talking about the shelf numbers. I'm going to explain them according to the subjects. Uh, we have 0002 900. Uh, I'll start with the 00. The 00 to 099 is general works. Under general works, we have general collection, computer science, library science, encyclopedia, media. For those who are doing computer science, you'll find your books at 003 to 00. Then the next one is philosophy and psychology, and you find those one from 100 to 199. But for those who are doing psychology, you'll find your books from 150 to 159. We continue with the shelf numbers. On this one, we have 200, that is religion, 200 to 299. And then we have the social sciences which fall under 300 to 399. Under social sciences, we have sociology, political science, economics, law, public admin, social problems, education, commerce, custom. For those who are doing um, sociology, find your books from 300 to 309. And also with the social problems, you'll find them at 360 to 369. For those who are doing economics, you'll find your books from 330 to 339. Um, we don't have law at the University of the Free State, Guagua. And then for those who are doing public administration, you find your books at 350 to 359. And then education is 370 to 379. And then commerce is 380 to 389. Continuing with the shelf numbers, now we are at 400, 499, which is languages. We have language usage and linguistics. For languages, 
find them from 400 to 409. Then we see 410 to 419. If they are doing Africans, we find their dates at 439. And then African languages, uh, including South African languages, we find them at 496. Moving to 500 to 599, which is natural science. Uh, natural science is like mathematics, astronomy, chemistry, earth sciences, biology, plant and life science. And then mathematics is from 510 to 519, physics 540 to 549, chemistry 540 to 549, earth science 5, 569, biology 570 to 579, plant science 580 to 569, and zoology 590 to 599. Moving on to 600 to 699, which is technology or applied sciences. Under technology, you have medicine and health, engineering, agriculture, home and family management, management, chemical engineering, manufacturing, and construction. But I'm going to focus to those that are offered at the Kaka campus. Accounting is 657, management 658, human resource management is 658.3. Moving on to 700 to 799. 700 to 799 is arts. Under arts, we have area planning, architecture, graphic arts, painting, photography, music, recreational. I'm not going to dwell much on this because none of the subjects are offered at the Kaka campus. And then moving on to 800 to 899, which is literature. Under literature, we have poetry, drama, fiction, essays, etc. But I just want to point out that for those who are doing Africans, you'll find the dates at 839. And those who are doing the Society, you'll find the dates at 896. Moving on to 900 to 999, which is history and geography. Uh, you'll find geography books on 910 to 919, and history is 930 to 999. 